hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is sheila today we're going to be learning how to make the dress that you have seen at the beginning of the video uh, for the materials you'll need uh, any weight 4 or weight 3 yarn i'll be using robin and i'll be doubling my yarn that's why i have two balls here a pair of scissors a five millimeter crochet hook and a measuring tape so i'm going to be demonstrating something for you before we start off the video <coughs> this dress is made of two panels that's the front panel and then the back panel which is lower than the front panel it's shorter so if this is our front panel this is the maximum length of the dress the back panel will almost be halfway the front panel because we are going to do a bare back design this is the front panel this is the back panel then we shall be building onto this so this will go to the back and be attached to the front panel this panel will go to the back of this dress then we shall start shaping this into something that we can wear comfortably but this dress is worked in diagonals so i'll be showing you every single step and i'm going to be showing you a smaller version a demonstration of how to achieve that same exact dress so let's get into the tutorial for the yarn i'm using robin 100 percent acrylic and i'm doubling it to achieve a medium weight look so you're going to start off with a slip knot i'm going to be demonstrating this just in a plain color which is white but you can see the original make is rastafarian colors and we did five five rows of each color so keep that in mind if you want to achieve the same exact dress go ahead and do five rows of each color but i'm going to be demonstrating in plain white so you're going to make a chain of five after your chain of five you're going to go into the very first chain that you made with three double crochets one two three after your third double crochet you're going to chain one and then double crochet in that same exact chain so this is the corner that we are creating and we are going to be blowing it up towards this side so this is the end of row one for row two you chain up four which counts as a double crochet chain one turn your work and then double crochet three times in that chain one space chain one double crochet three times in the next chain one space like that chain one and then double crochet again in that same space then for row three you chain up four turn your work double crochet three times in this first space so every chain one space gets three double crochets and then chain one go into the next chain one space with three double crochets chain one go into the next the last space with three double crochets one two and three then you're going to chain one and do one last double crochet in that same space so you can see um we have started uh, widening this part and that's all we are going to repeat 
let me show you one more time remember we start every row with a chain of four which counts as a double crochet chain one then turn your work and then double crochet three times in this very first space one two three chain one go into the next chain one space with three double crochets chain one go into the next space with three double crochets chain one go into the last chain one space because we have three double three chains and then one extra chain so go into there with um three double crochets then we end every row with chain one and one last double crochet in that same space so that's how we create this diagonal line so you can see that somewhere around here you can see this because right now we are working on the back panel or the front panel whatever you choose to start with so go ahead and widen your piece continue working so chain four turn your work double crochet three times in the very first space chain one double crochet three times in the next space chain one so um this chain one spaces will automatically create for you the space where to place your three double crochets so you don't need to overthink it it will be um an obvious space there waiting for you to place your three double crochets just remember when you come to the end of the row there's a space here don't forget that because there are three double crochets here and then a chain one space here so you will chain one and go into it with three double crochets then you'll chain one and then place one last double crochet in there so this is going to help us build horizontally and vertically so you're going to continue working until you have this measurement stretch to your hip measurement so keep that in mind work until this measures your hip uh, sorry half your hip measurement because we are going to do um we are going to be doing two panels this is one of the panels either the front or the back whatever you prefer keep working until this measures half your hip measurement so if you say it's 40 40 inches for your hip size make sure this can stretch up to 20 inches because we also have to do the second panel so go ahead and work I'm going to be demonstrating using um, a total of 10 inches but go ahead and work until you have half your hip measurement when stretched because you don't want this just to be sagging so whatever you do do it when stretched so that you get the full potential of the dress all right so as i had told you i'm making my demonstration 10 inches on both sides that means i'm assuming my hip measurement is 20 inches so i've divided into half and now i've gotten 10 inches and that's what you see here when stretched it stretches to exactly 10 inches so go ahead and do whatever measurement you need to cover up your hip measurement halfway because we are going to do two panels don't forget that so once I get this that means I'm done with this lower part but I'm not yet done with this so I'm assuming this is my front panel now I've decided this will be my front panel so I'm going to keep increasing the height of the dress but not increasing the width of the dress 
so um we are going to start doing something different we are stopping to widen this part at the base so you chain up three as usual turn your work and you're going to skip over all this and you're going to go directly into the next chain one space this time we're not going to be working in the very first one so go into the very first chain one space sorry the second chain one space because this is the first one so you place three double crochets there chain one three double crochets in the next chain one space chain one three double crochets in the next so go all the way up and then I'll show you what to do when you come to this part so when you come to the end of the row since we are not changing this part we are still uh, making it longer you'll go into that very last uh, chain one space and place three double crochets So you have your three double crochets, chain one and place one last one. So when you come to this side, nothing is changing. The only change is here. You can see it has started becoming um, straight. It's no longer going this side because we've already determined the hip measurement. So we are increasing the height of the dress, but not the width. Keep that in mind. So when you're starting your next row, you start with a chain of four and turn your work and work in this very first one because this is the side that determines the height of the dress. Chain one. And go all the way down. So continue working. Chain one, three double crochets. All the way down and I'll show you what to do when you come to the end of this row so when you come to the end of the row you can see I haven't yet placed anything here uh, I've placed my three double crochets here so I'm not going to chain one here I'll go directly into this last space with a double crochet then I'll chain up three turn my work and place my three double crochets in this next chain one space so you notice that this side what we do on this side changed long time ago because we start with three double crochets and end with a double crochet stitch that means we no longer have the chain one like we have at the beginning so after your three double crochets here chain one and go on with the flow of the pattern which is three double crochets in each and every chain one space all the way up and this is what we are going to repeat until so this you walk up to up and when you get here three double crochets chain one three double crochets in there chain one and one last double crochet because we are still increasing this side don't forget we do what we did at the beginning this side is not changing it's only this side that changed so um we are going to be working until this length this point hits the top of your shoulder keep working because now this is going to be the height of your dress so from the top of your shoulder down to where you want your dress to stop maybe under the knees or below the knees or halfway the knees or down to the to your feet that's up to you so you're going to keep working until this point hits the top of your shoulder up to where you want the dress to stop so yeah keep working that this side will remain straight don't worry about it and then i'll show you what to do after that okay so here we are with some more rows of 
uh, extending the height of the dress but not increasing the width of the dress you can see I did some extra rows so so that I can give you the real feel of what your dress should look like at this point uh, it should be more like a um, longer on this side then uh, shorter on this side because right now we are going to be sh shaping the neckline I hope this length right now is the total height of your dress that you want it to be from your shoulder down to where you want your dress to stop maybe up to the knees or your feet so that's up to you so you're going to locate the exact middle of your um of this line this upper line so so my exact middle is here I know this side looks longer but this is the exact middle of my work because I have um, 12 clusters so that means I have to split it into half so from here you chain up one and cut your yarn we are disconnecting our yarn from here and then reattaching our yarn So I'm reattaching my yarn in the exact middle. So one, two, three, four, five, six here, because I have a total of 12 of these. So this is my exact middle. I'm going to attach my yarn here. And now I'm going to be working on this side, trying to raise it to this level. That's what we are trying to do. So you're going to chain up four and skip this double crochet three times in this next chain one space chain one three double crochets chain one three double crochets chain one three double crochets, one, three double crochets. chain one three double crochets so go all the way across until you get to this point and we are not going to chain one because we are still keeping this straight double crochet directly into that then you're going to chain up three turn your work always remember we are keeping this side straight so we are not increasing anything here so after a chain of three go into the next chain one space with three double crochets chain one three double crochets here chain one three double crochets chain one three double crochets chain one and you're going to place three double crochets in this very last space so this also changes a bit because you can see we are placing three double crochets again in the uh, in the last chain one space which we haven't been doing when we were raising the height of the dress so after here you're going to chain up three three and then chain one more turn your work so this is a total of chain four going to the next chain one space with three double crochets chain one three double crochets chain one three double crochets chain one three double crochets And here when you come to this last one we are not going to chain one we are going to directly go into this very last space with a double crochet then chain up three turn your work your work should be the um, the row should be narrowing down because we want a tip 
at this point just like we have here so after your chain of three go into the next chain one space with a double crochet chain one three double crochets chain one three double crochets chain one and in this very last space we are going to still place three double crochets in there then you're going to chain up four turn your work go into the next chain one space with three double crochets chain one three double crochets in the next chain one space chain one three double crochets in the next chain one space then directly go into the very last space with a double crochet then chain up three turn your work go into the next chain one space with a double crochet and then two more double crochets chain one three double crochets in the next chain one space chain one and then three double crochets in this very last chain one space then chain up four turn your work go into the next chain one space with three double crochets chain one three double crochets in the next chain one space then go into the very last space with a double crochet chain up three turn your work um go into this very next chain one space with three double crochets chain one and three double crochets in the very last chain one space then chain up four turn your work go into the next chain one space with three double crochets then directly go into the last space with a double crochet chain up three turn your work and then skip this and place um three double crochets here because it's space then three then space then three so after this three you're done with this with this side that's what you should have at this point so you are going to go ahead and chain up four and then directly go into this space you're going to turn your work and directly go into this space with a double crochet that will be the end of this uh, panel that we have extended so you can see we've created a v-neck it's a v-neck and this is the upper side of our dress so we are going to do something different to our dress we are going to be creating this because right now it's very wide if you try on your dress at this point it's very very wide and we want to narrow down this space so i'm going to be showing you how to do that in just a second so from here you're not going to cut off your yarn you're going to chain up three one two three and then go into this space with three double crochets i know it has created something funny here but don't worry about it just go into this space with three double crochets chain one three double crochets in the next space so we are working in the double crochet spaces it's no longer chain one spaces chain one 
double crochet three times in the next uh, double crochet space so right now we are working f like this so chain one double crochet in the next double crochet space three times and when you come here at this point you're going to go into this space sorry you're going to first chain one and go into that space with three double crochets like that then directly go into the next side with three double crochets in the chain one space so that's what you should have So after this you're going to chain one, double crochet three times in the next chain one space. Now we are working chain one spaces. Chain one, double crochet three times in the next chain one space. Chain one, double crochet three times in the next chain one space. chain one double crochet three times in the next chain one space that's what you should have now we have a total of one two three four five on this side and then here it looks weird but it will even out don't worry about that then we have one two three four five should keep that in mind because this very last one is going to just get one double crochet just like we started off with a chain three we are ending with one double crochet on this side because we are trying to narrow down this space we're trying to um make our v-neck not look so wide and open so after your double crochet in this corner you're going to chain up three turn your work and then start working in the next chain one space skip all this and double crochet in the next chain one space so three double crochets in there chain one three double crochets in the next chain one three double crochets in the next chain one three double crochets in the next chain one space and now we've come to the exact middle because this is where the two sides are split you're going to you're not going to chain one here you're going to directly skip all this skip this and this and go into the next chain one space and place three double crochets so we are still creating the v-neck you can see that so chain one three double crochets in the next chain one space chain one three double crochets in the next chain one three double crochets in the next chain one space like that then we are going to directly go into this space with a double crochet because this is the last space so we don't chain one so this is how your work should look like you're going to narrow it down up to where it's comfortable for you i'll stop here because this is a small demonstration and this is what you should have right now so your dress is taking shape i hope now your front panel is now like a real dress uh, form and now we are going to be working on something else 
but I think that will come later on when we are done with the back panel. So from here, I think for the actual dress, I had around, I narrowed down by five rows because it will be way wider than this. And that means the chest area is too open. So you have to really bring it in to close up the chest area. And then um, we are going to now be working on the back panel, which will be the skirt part, which will form the skirt part. So the way to do that, you're going to go back to the beginning of the video, and then you create that triangular form when this is exactly your half your hip measurement the triangle that we had and then i'll see you when you have that and then i show you what to do from there all right so now that you have achieved your hip measurement for the second panel so this is what you should have so you're going to determine how low you want your back to be because this is our first panel and the second panel is going to sit right at the back of the first one like this and since this is a bare back sort of dress we are going to have all this open then we have straps running down to the back panel so if if you want to switch up the design you can even decide to do two panels exactly like the first one and then you join them at the top of the shoulder so that you have something that's covered in the back that's an option that I'm giving you because I get so many people who are asking what if I don't want to show my back you can go ahead and do two panels of this and then you join them at the shoulder create the armholes and then join this down apart to create a dress but that's not what we are doing today you're going to determine where you want your back panel to stop remember i've already shown you how to extend the length in case you want it longer so this is what i have right now this is the back panel and it's going to sit on the front panel like this so for mine i want it to stop here but if you want it a bit longer, higher in the back, go ahead and do some more rows, extending the height but not the size. Keep that in mind. I've already shown you how to do that. If you don't know how to do this, then you can go back to the start of the video when we're doing the first panel and when we're increasing the height of the dress. So since i want this to be the height of my dress i'm going to put away this i'm going to chain up three turn my work and i'm not going to be working here i'll go straight into the next chain one space chain one three double crochets in the next chain one space so what we are doing right now is to fill in this gap so that it's no longer a triangle it's a box it's going to be more like a perfect square that's what we are creating for the skirt part of the back panel so i'm going to go all the way down with chain one three double crochets in the next chain one space and i'll show you what to do when you come to the end of the row so when you come to the end of the row after this, you directly go into this very last space with a double crochet. Because we are bringing this like this, and then this like this. We are no longer extending this side. So chain up three, turn your work. Go into the next chain one space with three double crochets, chain one, and go all the way up. So for this part, um, we start with chain three at the beginning of every row because you're not increasing anything, which chain three counts as a double crochet. That means we end with a double crochet at the end of every row and we don't chain one at the end. 
you just directly go into the very last space with um, a double crochet and I'm going to be showing you how to do that in a bit So since this is the last chain one space where we are working the three double crochets, we are going to directly go into the very last space with a double crochet. Then start each row with a chain three, turn your work, and then go into the next chain one space. So that's all we are going to do for this row until we have a box, which will be a square sort of. So you can see this has started going up and then this has also started coming like this. So work until you close up this gap, until they can meet somewhere around here. So I'm coming to the end of the, of the box. You can see we've evened out all sides. And when you come to this very last point, you'll chain up three and turn your work and place the last double crochet in this space. So that's how you end your row. And this is the back panel that we are going to be placing over this other one. So you're going to place it inside out so that we can um, attach these two panels together. So you're going to count out One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you're going to count out twelve gaps on the front panel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we're going to be joining this panel to this panel. You're going to go into each and every gap with two single crochets. One, two. So we're joining the, f <coughs> sorry, the front panel to the back panel with two single crochets. So that's how we join. You can see now it's joined. The two panels are joined. And we're going to do the same exact thing on the other side. So I'm going to fasten off here. And then do the same thing on this side. So count out 12 gaps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Actually here you don't have to count because you're going to be working from this side. So two, two single crochets until you get done with the back panel. So go ahead and do that. And then I'll show you how my work will look like when we are done with this. So I finished joining my back panel and I'll chain one and cut my yarn. And then I'll turn my work to the right side because it has been inside out. And this is what you should have at this point. You have um, the upper part, then the skirt part. 
So the other thing that you're going to do is to do the edging. We're going to first work on the edging down here before we do the upper side, the upper straps that form the dress. So I'm going to attach my yarn anywhere at the back side. I'll attach it in this space. Chain up three. Then double crochet two more times in that same space, which counts as three double crochets here. Then you're going to chain one and then double crochet three times in the next uh, double crochet space. Like that. Then you're going to chain one and skip this and go into the next. So we don't want to overwhelm the base of the dress. It may deform it. Then chain one, go into the next. Chain one, uh, the next double crochet space with three double crochets. Then chain one, skip the next. Go into the next um, double crochet space chain one then go into the next double crochet space something like that then chain one so since we skipped a lot of space here I'll place uh, three double crochets in the next double crochet space then chain one and skip this one then go into the next so just find a balance so that you're not like over putting so many uh, stitches at the base or so little stitches that they're going to hold the dress together So that's all I'm going to do all the way around the base of the dress. So there's no specific rule, just evenly place the stitches because we are creating a platform for our very final row. So I'm almost coming to the end of this round. I'll place three double crochets here and then sorry I'll chain one and then slip stitch so that marks the end of that round and what we are going to do right now is to do the scallops so I'm going to slip stitch up to when I get to the to a chain one space so this is a chain one space I'll chain up three and place three more double crochets in that same space and then single crochet in the next chain one space, chain up three, double crochet three more times in that same space, single crochet in the next chain one space, chain up three, double crochet three times in that same space single crochet in the next so that those are the scallops that we are creating you're going to make them all the way around let me show you one more time after making the single crochet you're going to chain up three and then double crochet three times in that same gap 
single crochet in the next space chain up three then double crochet three times in that same space so that's all we are repeating all the way around until you come to the end of the row and you'll be done at this point you'll be done with the base of the dress and then i'll show you how to do the straps coming to the end of my row and i'm placing my very last three double crochets in the last chain one space and then i'll go into the very first space where i place the first um scallop and i'll make a slip stitch and then i chain one and then i'll cut my yarn so this marks the end of um, the bottom part of the dress let me show you how it looks like that's how it looks like now we are going to go back to the top part of the dress and we are going to be creating straps <coughs> so the way to do this i know yours may be thicker than this but i'm going to be demonstrating what you should do so you're going to attach your yarn here chain up four double crochet three times in the next uh, double crochet space chain one double crochet three times in the next chain one th sorry double crochet space chain one and then double crochet one last time if this is very like if you see like it's not straight you can take it out and then you just have one double crochet here after you chain one but I'm sure for you you have like some more rows so you'll have something like this you have something like that so you will determine the thickness that you want for your strap we are having a small strap here because we have a small demonstration but um, for the actual dress you may have something like this which is almost uh, four clusters of three double crochets that's what you'll have so find the thickness that you need and then do this then after this you're going to chain up three turn your work and this chain one space will get three double crochets but that chain three counts as one so you'll place two more double crochets to make a total of three then chain one skip this and then go into the last space with um three double crochets then chain up four which counts as a double crochet chain one turn your work then double crochet three times in the chain one space below chain one and then double crochet once into the very last stitch so this row should resemble the one before this one every even row looks the same and all odd rows look the same so this is row one of the strap it should look like row three like row five like row seven and row two looks like row four row six row eight and so on so go ahead and do the same exact thing i know we have different body types that's one thing you should not so you should make this dress basing on the measurements of your client or on your particular measurements so someone's torso may be longer than yours so that's the use of taking some measurements before you start on someone's order so for this since it's a, dem a demonstration I'm going to just be showing you how to go about it because at this point we've literally done almost everything the only thing left is to work on the straps and shape the waistline
Okay, so I went ahead to do some more rows. You're going to do the number of rows you need from your from the top of your shoulder. Remember, this is where that just stopped. The top of your shoulder down to where your skirt starts from. So I hope you measured well and your skirt is not so low or so high. So I did some more rows to give a clear demonstration of what it should be like. Now you fold over this strap. Make sure it's not so stretched like this. Like just um, do something that's enough. And then you attach it to the base of the skirt. So let me show you how to do that. Now I'm going to attach this strap to the base of the skirt. And you have to work on it on the inside out part. So at this point you are going to be attaching this and then creating the, the armholes at the same time. So grab your yarn, make sure you're on the wrong side of your work. So I'm going to be attaching it there at that point. So I'm going to go in with a single crochet. Just evenly place them. Make sure you don't over stress the stitches with so many single crochets. So you can see that this is attached to the base of the skirt. And now we are going to start working on the sides like this. So go into the first row with the first row of the front panel. So two single crochets there, two in the next, two in the next. So you don't want to actually get the size of your arm. You want it a bit lower because this is already going to stress the dress. So you want the armhole to be a bit long compared to uh, your arm size. So I'll place my very last two, two single crochets and then I'll chain one and cut my yarn. So that's the end of that. And you can see this is a big space compared to like an arm of this size. Make sure you do that. You leave um, a space that's bigger than your arm. So this is done. And we are going to work on this side too. So let me go ahead and do that. And then I'll show you what to do from here. All right, so now that we are done with the construction of the dress, your dress should look like this. You're going to go ahead and make long, two long chains of around 100 chains. Then uh, you're going to attach them. This is the skirt panel. So you're going to count three rows onto the strap and then attach it there. I don't know how you're going to attach it. You can tie a knot or you can uh, start off your chain from that row, whatever you prefer to do. Then do the same on this side, one, two, three. Just find the best possible way to attach it so I'll get rid of this later so you're going to go into the next space down and then pull through this strap so down into that space where you place the strap and pull it through so this is the strap that's going to shape the waistline so skip this and go into the next gap and pull through that strap. So skip this 
and then go into the next pull through skip this gap go into the next and pull through and do the same on this side skip this go into the next and pull through so we are at the exact middle of our dress and when we gather this you can see what it does it brings everything together from this side from around the waist area so at this point you can tie this as a knot I know it looks funny right now but it's because it's not on a body but as you saw on the dummy this is how we gather the waist area and the front will now look like this it will look like it's wider at the base and then smaller in the waist and then widens up in the chest so this is the shape so let me introduce the actual dress that we are working on this is how it looks like that's the same exact thing that I did for the waist area you can see this once you pull the straps together these straps will come together I just decided to show you a demonstration because um, showing you the full dress would not give you the actual feel but this is the actual dress and then the other one is the demonstration so that marks the end of our dress and i hope you really liked the tutorial i can't wait to see your versions of this dress because i know you're going to go in for different colors different color combinations and all that and this just has a perfect fitting and uh, I can't wait to share with you the other version of almost the same dress, but a different design and pattern. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a lovely week. And uh, don't forget, I'll be uploading every Thursday of the week. Then uh, if I can, then it will always be Thursday and Sunday. But if I can't on Sunday, it will always be Thursday. So thanks for watching. Have a blessed day and make sure to tag me in your final projects. I can't wait to see your versions. Bye-bye.